fun. We listened to some good music. We took a lot of pictures. But this is the part that we must walk away with. The reality of our children dying in these streets. Every day in the cities of the United States of America, 10 to 15 of our young people are dying to gun violence from the ages of 11 to 24. That's an average of 10,000 a year. In the Vietnam War, there were 59,000 casualties in nine years. 20,000 were African Americans and Latinos. We lost five times of that number in the past 10 years than we lost in the Vietnam War. That tells us that it's safer to live in a war zone than it is to live in the inner cities. Our children are traumatized by what they see. And so we got to step up and do something about it. We got to get back to the principles that it takes a village to raise a child. I asked the children, what is the problem with you? They said the problem is that the older people don't care nothing about us. And we don't know how to care. I asked them, well, what do you want? And they said, we want somebody that we can trust and that is trustworthy and that can teach us what we do not know. So what I have done while I was away, because I'm a returning citizen, I have done 22 years in a federal penitentiary for a Haram conspiracy. In 1990, I got caught up with an FBI conspiracy with 23 co-defendants I did not know and went to trial. Ignorance to the law is no excuse. But in that situation, I said, I'm not coming out the same way that I went in. And I saw the culture change when young men start coming into the penitentiary with no direction. Because in the penitentiary, you got three types of personalities. You got convicts, you got prisoners, and you got inmates. Convicts are men who stand on principles. Convicts are men who are loyal. Convicts are men who attitudes are, it's us against them. It ain't where you're from, it's where you're at. A prisoner is somebody who holds to some of the principles of a convict, meaning they're loyal and they have respect. But it's not us against them. An inmate is a snitch, a rat, a loud mouth, who's unruly, no respect, no loyalty. And this is what has been coming in to the institution. So what we wanted to do was change that because we didn't want our young people to fall victim to that environment. And we created a program called Leave, I mean, Ver Ver Reverse the Trend. And we rehabilitated over 500 gang members. We brought down the level of violence among themselves. And we elevated the respect level for women because you're very important. And so when it was time for me to leave that place, I was instructed to bring the program to the community to save our children. And I always say, I will go into hell with a gasoline jacket on to save our children. Because in order for you to save a life, you got to be willing to give yours. That's all our children understand. Do you care about me? Don't buy them the Jordans and all those things to make them think that that gives them value when it don't. Principles and value system is what gives them value. So what I'm asking you today, my brother, my beloved brothers and sisters in this environment, lead by example. What I mean by that is our children learn from what they see. So if you are courteous and respectful and honest and all those things in your life, your children are going to model themselves after you. That's the only way we can reverse these negative trends. My program is in a school now in the Bronx. We service 350 students in a middle school. My program is in the Department of Probation. I've only been home 15 months and I have 20 employees on my staff. This is real for me. I don't play with the life of our children. Gun down life up is real. Put the guns down. Because let me tell you something about your life. If I lose my wealth, I lost nothing. If I lose my health, I lost something. But if I lose my character, I lose everything. 
And so that's how important your life is. If you're on your deathbed and you're about to die, you will give all your wealth to save your life. I have seen men turned on their mothers, their sons, to save their life because they didn't want to get sentenced to a death penalty. This is how valuable your life is. So I don't want us to have to go through that in order for us to recognize the value of our life. Money, we make this. This money, we can get this back. But we can't get you back. I would never see you again if I kill you for this. So we got to put your life above everything else. Because you are the most important person in this world. But you got to realize that. And these kids that you see walking by, all you have to do is stop and correct them. They will listen to you. Don't allow them to go in these streets acting foolish and losing themselves in what they see, what's going on in society. You talk to them, they will listen to you. I know I do it every day. I do it every day, bro. And we need more soldiers, more men involved in this process. So we can save the lives of our children. And here's one more statistic. One out of every three African Americans born in this country is destined to go to prison in their lifetime. This is birth based on the birth rate, the death rate, and the incarceration rate. One in every Latino male born in this country destined to go to prison in his lifetime. Same rate, birth, death, and incarceration rate. If our children are not reading at a fourth grade reading level, the Education Department reported to the Justice Department. The Justice Department built beds and sent it to Wall Street. And they began to build prisons and sell stocks. We have to change it. Y'all all right? This is a reality check. I don't mean to be real. I mean, come like this. But I want you to walk away with what's real. So if you hear about lead by example in your community because somebody might have got shot or somebody might have got killed, they know that that's me. Because I'm going to tell you something. To those who like shooting people. When we come in to the community about our children who are traumatized and our parents, our mothers and grandmothers and aunts can't walk these streets in safety and you see us. If you come at me because I'm bringing peace, I got an army of men in the prison waiting on you. Waiting on you because they tell me, yo brother, make history. Make history and change this dynamics of what's going on in those streets. Because we live this. We're not playing with this. When I was in the streets, I was in the streets. Hard body. And now that I'm doing this, I'm in it. Hard body. My life is in this. And I'm willing to give it to save our children. And that's the type of men and women that have to be involved with this type of movement. So big up to SOS. Big up to Snugs. Big up to 49 Strong. Big up to Life Camp, and big up to the funds for HAC, Guns Down Life for Peace. Thank you, my brother. Show your love right now, y'all. Come on, man, support that, man. And Antonio, that's it.